de Jean Courtois noticed that when you order all of the elements in terms of atomic weight, something interesting happens. He illustrated this with a table that was 16 relative weight units wide and diagonal lines that repeat down the table. So here's how it works. Hydrogen has a relative atomic weight of one, so de Jean Courtois placed a dot here, one weight unit into the table. Next, we have lithium, which has a relative weight of seven, so its dot is here, seven units in. Continuing all the way to oxygen, which has a relative weight of 16, we can see that it's right on the boundary of the 16 unit wide table, so it has a dot at the end of the first diagonal line and at the beginning of the second diagonal line. Following this is fluorine, with a relative weight of 19, so that's all 16 units from the first line plus an additional three units on the second line. He included every known element in his table and spotted something interesting. For some reason, there were several cases where elements that were very similar to each other seemed to coincidentally line up in perfect vertical columns on his table. For example, lithium, sodium and potassium all line up one on top of the other. These elements are all reactive metals with similar properties who do the same exact reactions as each other, with the metals getting more reactive as you go down the column. It was long known that these metals were related, so much so that they already had a collective name, the alkali metals. There were many similar examples where the properties of elements periodically repeated as you went down the table. We could even call it a periodic table. That was exactly what de Jean Courtois had done. He had created the first ever periodic table 